Hi everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dancer, professional dance choreographer, and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States. And we're gonna be taking a look at Deep and Dot versus Liflo, the elimination battles. It looks like there's seven of them, which is insane to me. I love it. I don't know if that's because they couldn't find a winner or if they were gonna go through all seven go through the whole shebang, and then they're gonna pick a winner from there. Um, but the important thing is, is that I am very much looking forward to seeing what Deep and Dot brings to the table as their last hoorah, because we do know that they are no longer a part of the Street Woman Fighter series because I have already reacted to the Hwasa challenge at this point, and they were not included in that. Um, but all that to say, thank you for deciding to join along this ride with me, and I look forward to watching this with you guys. Let's get started. Fight! Yeah, I love the song choice. Can't go wrong with CL. Ooh. Oh, I love that. Ani. They're like, Ani. 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 Oh, that was so cute. Oh. That was. So cute. Wow. This mashup sounds so freaking sick. Wow. Nice. She accented really well there. <laughs> She's using it. Oh. teary-eyed just then it could be because of just the um whenever because i i'd already watched the full cam before starting at this point but i really love i'm gonna be honest i think like when we start getting to the elimination battles especially on the i call it the white stage right because i think i've already experienced elimination battles from some of the other seasons Whenever you get to this point, just the energy is so different between all of the members of, of the season. And I think that part of that comes from just, there's just a sense of camaraderie and unity and collaboration and people really enjoying what others are giving. And it feels like a true exchange versus um, like F you, like, you know what I'm saying? So I think this was really, it makes it hard to judge. I love moments like this because it makes it hard to judge because part of what you're judging is unjudgeable, if that makes sense. So if we backtrack here, um, and I'm not talking about the content, the content's whatever, but it's the energy of the room and how they're presenting themselves is something that you cannot critique it's not a critiquable thing and whenever you have one of those elements integrated into what you're watching it's very powerful and it just shows you how incredible the art of dance is this mashup was phenomenal 
I like the usage of the nunchucks. They did a great job integrating that into their set. Great angles. Yeah, they did a great job working with a prop like that because it has two with the chain. It's way more difficult to maneuver. And they did fabulous, really trying to pop off in the energy. I love it. You know, I think it's pretty, it's pretty good here. I will say if any, if there's any context that has happened as to why one of our dancers, she was not, um, in that particular section, that's totally fine. But notice, oh, there's two of them. There's two more that they're in the full suit. So that makes more sense. I actually like that, that they made the decision that they had the five that don't have the tracksuit and then they had two join with the tracksuit. It's nice. And I love being able to see people there, like, <laughs> join what they're watching. Like, I love that. Yeah. I love that Na Napa and Gigi Bay. Great wordplay there with the usage of the rhythm. Just full energy. I love it. Now, do I think that um, they had to sacrifice some complexity of other aspects of their movement for the sake of making the nunchuck clean? Yes. But do I think that's totally possible here? Absolutely. I love this. I love that ching. I don't know if that was just a sound effect added by Mnet or what. But it's, it's, I love the reaction that people get. I love, that was so fun. Oh, it was added by Mnet. I love the setup here. They got multiple layers. <laughs> and it feels, and it's just really enjoyable. That, phew, hey, super fun. I think that's probably my favorite part. They're just like, unni, unni, hey. That's so fun. That was that was really cute. I like the fact that the ribbon is pink. It's cute. Yeah, so she's I wonder if she was asking why is she the only one using ribbons? I'm not sure, but I love the energy of this. It's so fun. They are doing a really great job of being clean. I've always loved their rock, their bounce, their energy, their flow. It matches the music really well. I love that dune, dune, dune. Now, was she like super stable on that? Maybe not, not as efficient, but also you have to look at the ribbons and it's mad hard to do, period. And definitely a surprise that you haven't seen her try that before in that way, which is super cool. Love this. I love the energy that they brought here. That's just where I started getting emotional was just this energy right here. Yeah, I like the use that they all decided to use their towels. I think it would have been cool if they integrated the towels earlier to help offset with the ribbon usage. But I really liked, I love, I love what they did. And they paced it out, you know. Um, if y'all are okay with this, like, I, I think for this one, I don't think I want to say who wins. I mean, we all know that Deep and Dop ends up leaving. So I feel like... I want to be able to provide feedback, but I think just for this elimination, I don't know why I feel this way. I think I've expressed it a little bit, at least for, I mean, if I feel, if I'm in my feelings about it, I think it would just be better for me to just talk about what I've enjoyed about it versus just saying so-and-so won and so-and-so didn't, you know? I know for some of the battles, I'll be able to be more clear, but I think for something like this, this just felt very... I love the energy from both so much that I don't I don't want to judge it. Honestly, I don't want to say so and so won because it doesn't matter to me right now in this moment. If y'all are okay with that. I know I really haven't done that before, but I just think it's more appropriate to just to just enjoy it for what it is and and to just keep watching the different the different rounds with with enjoyment and and put in my two cents when necessary, of course. Wow. This was just, this was just so phenomenal. I thank you guys so much for watching this with me. Um, I wanted to do this whole elimination just as one video, uh, at least for Patreon, it's a video all in one. And But if it's separated on YouTube, it's probably because of copyright. But I am so humbled 
to have been able to experience the show in this way, be able to, to create these videos so we can continue to have dialogue together, asking questions, asking tough questions, or really going deep on some of the context of a lot of these challenges. I know for me, I end up learning about criteria or the context behind a lot of the woes and struggles of a lot of crews. Uh, once it's subbed or whenever other people are able to watch it prior to myself So I feel like I learned so much more after I do the analysis that sometimes I do feel bad that I wish I had the full picture before watching so I could have a more gracious eye But I also know too that some of the objectivity comes from not knowing the emotional circumstances that can emotionally sway me one way or another So I see there's pros and cons to both But I've always been very thankful of the fact that there's so many of you guys just through the course of this past month month and a half just your support and your commitment to watching the show alongside me and providing so much knowledge and insight that I feel like I've grown so much as just somebody who's observed, who observes and analyzes these types of things. It's a different community of movers, you know, and I just feel so humbled to be in a position where I'm able to exchange my knowledge by learning knowledge in return, you know, and I think this is just so so incredible and I'm and I thank you guys once again for being a part of it with me and I look forward to the discussions on this I think I got more emotional on this one than some of the other about I think with a lot of battles I don't really get like super emotional on but I think this is the first time for this season that I that I feel this way but I think it is it's, I wouldn't have it any other way I think Deep and Dop left on one of the highest notes they could have and they should be so proud of what they brought to the table during this series this was great Man, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye.